In this video, we will take you through your Capsule account settings, allowing you to configure specific areas of the account and administer your account in the simplest way. Admin users will have access to the Capsule account settings. From here, users can configure specific areas relating to the overall account, such as your custom fields or milestones. From here, you can also invite new users to Capsule and configure some of the native integrations that you may be using alongside Capsule. Managing the account is simple, and our short video will cover the different areas that can be updated directly from these settings. The Capsule account settings can be found by clicking on your name in the top right-hand corner of the page. From here, simply click here on Account Settings, and then you'll be taken directly to a new page in which you will see a variety of different options on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll start on the account page. Here you'll get a summary of your organization, such as the general information and the current plan and usage. Super admin users will be able to edit the account information here by clicking on change on any option. If you would like to upgrade the account to a different plan, this can also be done directly here by the super admin. The same applies to downgrading your account if desired. Super admin users will also have an extra option to view invoices. From here, you can download invoices for the billing history on your Capsule account. The export function here generates a single zip file, and then it emails it to you. The zip file contains CSV files for your contacts, opportunities, and cases, including your notes and email history. This is a great way to ensure that you have a backup of your Capsule data. Please note that the full export does not include any file attachments. Those always have to be downloaded from Capsule, one at a time, from each record. From the appearance page, you can customize your account with your company logo, and you can also change your color scheme. Once you upload a logo, this will be visible on the login page. The mail drop box provides you with the link needed to attach emails to your contacts. This can also be found in each user's preferences page. You can update the drop box key here for all users, if needed. Users can be added and removed from this page. Please remember that adding a new user onto the account will directly impact the monthly billing as all capsule pricing is based on how many users are currently on the account. If you'd like more information around adding users to Capsule, we recommend checking out our Adding a User videos for both our teams and professional plans. From Opportunities, the current milestones that have been set up on the account can be reviewed and edited. You can also do the same for the lost reasons on the account. Again, we cover this in more detail in our Managing Your Sales Pipeline video. Tracks are a really useful way to standardize your approach to business. A track is a series of tasks related to a case or an opportunity to be completed in a specific order. This will save you precious time in the long run. Tracks are really helpful if you always follow the same process for each project. Here you can see some that we've previously created. Tracks can work from a start date, or you can choose to work backwards from an end date. As an example, Let's say that we have a sales process we want the team to follow. We can create a track, pick all of our tasks along with the due dates. Now, whenever a user creates a new sales opportunity, they can apply the track. They will have the task to follow for their sales opportunity, along with the dates due for each. Teams users can take advantage of creating custom activity types. Here you can create up to 50 of these and then log them against your contacts. Once created, you can then report on how many times these activities have been completed on a user or team level. We have more information about this in our Teams reporting video. Task categories allow you to create tasks that may relate more specifically to different areas that you would like to create reminders for. Click Add a new category, give the category a name, and then pick a color to help you identify it. Using custom fields is one of the most effective ways to capture the information across your contacts, sales opportunities, and cases that matter to your business. Here you can set up any new field, and you can also review what is currently in place. We recommend checking out our dedicated video to this area if you'd like to learn more. Tags can be applied across the account. Here you can review what is already in place and also delete anything that may no longer be needed. A great way to manage tags is by creating them all from the account settings. Users will then be able to pick them from a drop-down when selecting. This helps ensure that everyone is applying the same tag and will make filtering and reporting much more scalable. If you would like to use data tags, you can create them here. A data tag allows you to record additional details within a tag 
and helps you group these details together. Let's use the example, new lead. We may want to view where this lead came from, along with when. Using this concept, we can create our custom fields and track this information against our records. This is a great way to segment records further and ensure you can easily group them based on set characteristics. The integration section allows you to configure the native integrations that we have built for Capsule. Clicking on configure on any of these will show you the steps needed to connect to the service. You can also find more information around creating your own integration with the Capsule API here. Finally, let's look at the trash section. This is only available to the super admin users. Here, the entries deleted in the last 30 days can be reviewed. You will also be able to restore or permanently delete any entry if needed. So, don't worry if you or another user accidentally deletes a record. It can be restored here. That was just a short video on how your account settings can help you get the most from your Capsule account. If you need any more advice on the topics covered in this video, please head over to our support pages for more articles relating to Capsule, or contact our friendly support team, and we'll gladly help you out.